Good morning, everybody. It is April 28th, 2018, 646 a.m. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about our friends over in Hawaii. Uh, they have broken the U.S. record for a single day of rain. Uh, a small town within Hawaii here had 49.69 inches of rain, <clears throat> excuse me, in a 24-hour period. That is over four feet of rain, guys. That is an unbelievable record to break. Uh, there were two big moisture systems on either side of Hawaii. Um, I can actually show them to you on a few other charts. We'll get to that in a second. But we are also talking about the East Pacific Ocean. And if you remember, we spoke about the possibility of Hurricane Aleta or Alet, uh, I believe one of those is the per, uh, correct pronunciation. Anyway, look at these two systems we have here. Either one of these could potentially be Hurricane Aleta in the East Pacific, uh, which the season actually begins May 15th. If uh, those of you that have already heard me say that uh, before, those are that's for the people that have not heard that yet. So we have two possibilities here. Now I want you to show you. I want to show you how this forms here. Let me back up a little bit. You can actually see three centers of rotation and almost a fourth if we back up to the sixth. We're going to go backwards here in time so you can just see how these form. And then we have one, two, three, four. So we can see that this flow coming from the uh, bottom part of the Caribbean is coming down and then over the uh, Managua uh, area. That's this portion right here with this border you see and it's coming over and then they're starting to flow into counterclockwise circles um, again we are in the northern hemisphere so these things will spin counterclockwise just like they do in the Atlantic Ocean this is the eastern Pacific Ocean or southeast Pacific Ocean let me start at the 27th here and show you guys what we're seeing as you can see it's pretty clear in this area we have that big flow going under uh, Santo Domingo where there's Dominican Republic Puerto Rico um, and then we have uh, Cuba here, the Leeward Islands. This is where we watch for our storms. We are still watching the potential for a tropical storm to come off the west coast of Africa right now. Uh, it's probably right around this area. You can see where this little jumbo mess is here. This is going to start swinging its way this way, and it may start to connect here. We might, may see a tropical depression due to this. And then as it moves up towards the Leeward Islands, we will find out from there. But as far as the East Pacific goes, that is what we're talking about now. Here is the 28th. You're going to begin to see the rotation take form in some of these storms that are connecting. And it shows the potential for three of these things, maybe one of them being our first hurricane of the season. This thing has the potential to reach up towards California, guys. So this is what we need to start thinking about as far as hurricane season goes. Uh, because we have a lot of different areas of the U.S. that could be at risk for tornadoes, not just uh, Mexico. Just because last year we didn't have one that made it up that far, that doesn't mean they don't happen. We have a lot of stats about hurricanes in California, and um, these are basically form from this area, this far south, where uh, South America meets uh, the Mexican border. Now you can begin to see the rotation here by the 4th, that is this coming Friday, and then here is the 5th, we can see some clear cut, uh, rotation here. I am a bit high up uh, 750 meters to give you an idea of the rotation but the 10 day forecast shows this thing possibly forming and coming up as far as if I can get this thing to stop moving sorry about that let me get back up here where we belong uh, this shows one of these things actually rolling up past the Baja region in towards California so there is that possibility do I think it's gonna happen uh, I don't know. I don't think so as far as the first hurricane of the season this early on. The conditions just aren't quite there yet. But we are seeing clear-cut rotation here, guys. So this is what you want to look out for. Uh, we're going to be using our mimic charts to actually talk about this some more later on. Uh, let's see what else I have. These are our current temperatures for the continental U.S. A little bit chilly this morning. It was a little dewy out. The sun looks to be coming out. I see it shining on the house next to mine, so... It's not as cloudy as it was a little while ago. But um, we've got to cut this a little short this morning, guys. Once again, I have work. Here is the Tropical Tidbits uh, 850 HPA model, the Canadian model, actually, that shows these three centers of rotation also forming by, let's see, May 7th. So we have between the 5th and the 7th, we need to watch the Southeast Pacific very closely. Here is an article on that rainfall. The record was broken um, from a 1979 record in Texas. Before that was Kiawe in uh, 1956. That was 38 inches of rain. 
Um, 43 inches in Alvin, Texas in July of 1979. We have broken that record now in Hawaii with 49.69 inches. With over four feet of rain, the small town of Hanalei uh, on the Hawaiian island of Kiao may have broken the all-time U.S. record for rainfall in 24 hours earlier this month. They are checking the rain gauges in this area to see if this actually broke the record. But there you have it, 49.69 inches of rain. What other records can we break this year? That is the amount of rain. That is like... Uh, the equivalent of a hurricane, basically. Hurricane Harvey dropped almost 60 inches of rain, and that was over a four- or five-day period when it hit Texas twice. So, all right, guys, there you have it. Sorry for the short video. It's all the time I have for this morning. Um, I'm off tomorrow, so I probably will have a video out this afternoon. We can see this big moisture system moving off the coast finally. And that's it for now, guys. Everyone have a great day. I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.